What happens when love turns into obsession? Our story begins when Dave Krupa moves to Omaha, Nebraska in 2012. Dave, a diligent mechanic and a single father, had his life uprooted as he ventured into a new city, grappling with the nuances of single parenthood and the demands of his profession. Amidst the whirlwind of change, Dave hoped to find companionship, a slice of solace in the foreign lands. With this hope in his heart, he decided to dip his toes in the world of online dating. He found himself on Plenty of Fish, a popular dating site teeming with possibilities. As he navigated through the sea of faces, two women caught his attention. Shauna Liz Golyar and Kari Farber, both single mothers living in Iowa, came into his life through the screen of his computer. Liz, with her captivating smile, and Carrie, with her infectious laughter, seemed to be the perfect antidote to his loneliness. Dave started casually dating both women, a decision that was no secret to either of them. He wasn't seeking a serious relationship, just the comfort of companionship, and perhaps the chance of finding love again. The three of them, each with their own past and hopes for the future, formed the vertices of a love triangle, unknowingly setting the stage for a chilling saga that would soon unfold. Dave's life, which was once filled with the humdrum of everyday routine, was now punctuated with the excitement of new relationships. The simple mechanic from Omaha was living a life that was far from ordinary, little knowing that these new beginnings were the calm before the storm. His world, as he knew it, was about to be shaken to its very core. Little did he know, this seemingly harmless online dating would soon turn his world upside down. As the curtain falls on this first act, we brace ourselves for the heart-wrenching tale of love, deception, and obsession that awaits us. For in this tale, the line between love and madness blurs, and a chilling reality emerges from the shadows. Dave was casually dating both Liz and Carrie, but things took a turn when the two women encountered each other outside Dave's apartment. Dave Krupa, a single father and mechanic from Omaha, Nebraska, had met both Liz Goliar and Carrie Farver through the online dating site Plenty of Fish. Both women were single mothers residing in Iowa, and Dave had been enjoying the casual companionship they offered. However, a seemingly innocuous encounter between Liz and Carrie outside Dave's apartment complex set in motion a chain of events that no one could have anticipated. It was a brief meeting, the kind that usually holds no significance in the grand scheme of things. But this was different. This was the inception of a sequence that would soon spiral out of control. In the subsequent days, the dynamics of the relationships began to change. Dave, who had been maintaining casual relationships with both women, found himself unintentionally in the middle of a love triangle. Liz and Carrie, who had once been amiable acquaintances, now found themselves competing for the same man's affections. The casual, carefree nature of Dave's relationships was replaced by a palpable tension. The once friendly encounters turned into heated confrontations. The love triangle was not just a romantic complication anymore, it was turning into a nightmare. A couple of weeks after the encounter, Carrie Farver mysteriously vanished. But even in her absence, her presence was felt in the form of threatening messages being sent to Dave and Liz. The messages, aggressive and relentless, were from different contacts and aliases, making it seem like Carrie was everywhere and nowhere at the same time. It was a strange and unnerving turn of events. Dave Krupa, a man who had ventured into online dating in search of companionship, found himself in a situation he could never have envisioned. What started as a casual meeting soon spiraled into a nightmare. Just a couple of weeks into dating Dave, Carrie suddenly vanished. But that wasn't the end of her story. In a chilling twist to an already complicated love triangle, Carrie Farver's disappearance in November of 2012 marked the start of a relentless campaign of harassment and intimidation. As if vanishing into thin air wasn't disturbing enough, Carrie seemingly continued to haunt both Dave and Liz through a barrage of threatening messages. These messages, filled with venom and menace, were sent from an array of different contacts and aliases, turning an already bewildering situation into an absolute nightmare. Dave, a mechanic and single father new to the world of online dating, found himself at the receiving end of this onslaught. Each day brought a fresh wave of aggressive phone and email messages, each more disturbing than the last. Not knowing where to turn, Dave reached out to law enforcement in Omaha, desperate for answers and relief. But law enforcement hit a wall, 
Despite their best efforts, they failed to track down Kari. In January of 2013, they found her car, but the single fingerprint discovered inside didn't match anyone in the FBI's database. It was as if Carrie had vanished, leaving only a ghost to torment those she left behind. Meanwhile, the harassment intensified. Liz bore the brunt of the most extreme forms of this torment. Her car was keyed, her window broken, her clothes slashed. The situation reached a fever pitch when Liz's house was burned down, resulting in the tragic death of her pets. Despite their efforts, law enforcement was unable to track down Carrie. The harassment, however, continued to escalate. This unsettling period marked a dark chapter in the lives of Dave and Liz, a chapter filled with fear, confusion, and a desperate search for answers. Little did they know the real story was far more sinister than they could ever have imagined. As the harassment intensified, Liz bore the brunt of it all. It was an escalating situation that went from threatening messages to outright acts of vandalism. Liz, who had been receiving the most aggressive of the messages, became the victim of a series of attacks that seemed designed to terrorize and unsettle her. Her car was keyed, a blatant act of vandalism that seemed to serve no purpose other than to cause distress. Then her window was broken, an act that went beyond mere annoyance and into the realm of a serious invasion of privacy. But the attacks didn't stop there, they became more personal. Her clothes were slashed, a clear sign that whoever was behind this was intent on causing her emotional harm. Then came the most devastating attack of all. Liz's house was set on fire. The blaze not only destroyed her home but also claimed the lives of her beloved pets. It was a horrific act that shocked everyone involved in the case. The local law enforcement appeared helpless. Despite their best efforts, they couldn't trace the source of the harassment. The situation seemed to be spiraling out of control with no apparent end in sight. Dave Krupa, who had found himself at the center of this terrifying drama, could do nothing but watch as the woman he was casually dating was subjected to an onslaught of attacks. The harassment, the vandalism, the arson, it all seemed so senseless. It was a nightmare that showed no signs of stopping. And for Liz, who was at the receiving end of it all, it must have felt like she was trapped in a horror movie with no way out. Meanwhile, the question of Carrie Farver's whereabouts still loomed large. The woman who had vanished without a trace was still missing, and her absence was a chilling reminder of the stakes involved in this case. With no leads and the situation worsening, it seemed like the nightmare had no end in sight. The stage was set for an unexpected twist that would leave everyone stunned. It wasn't until 2015 when investigators Jim Doty and Ryan Avis re-examined the case files that the shocking truth began to unfold. The dust-laden folders and digital archives held a narrative far more sinister than anyone had anticipated. As the investigators meticulously pieced together the jigsaw puzzle of events, they stumbled upon a chilling revelation. Liz Goliar, the woman who had also been a victim of the relentless harassment, was not just another piece on the chessboard. She was the puppeteer pulling the strings. The evidence pointed to a horrifying conclusion. Liz had been impersonating Carrie Farver, the woman who had vanished mysteriously back in 2012. But it wasn't just a case of stolen identity, it was a calculated move, a smokescreen to cover up a crime most heinous. The investigators believed that Liz had murdered Carrie, presumably on the very night when the first of the harassing messages were received. But Liz's machinations didn't stop at that. In a twisted attempt to mislead the authorities and cast suspicion away from herself, she had tried to frame Dave's ex-partner Amy Flora. The destruction of her own house, the tragic death of her pets, all were part of Liz's elaborate self-destructive ruse. As the investigators dug deeper, they found a web of deceit, spun with meticulous precision, each threatening message, each act of vandalism, each alias, all were the handiwork of Liz herself. She was the architect of her own victimhood, a wolf in sheep's clothing. The revelation sent shockwaves through everyone involved. Dave Krupa, the man caught in the middle of this love triangle turned nightmare, was left reeling. He had been living under the shadow of a stalker, fearing for his life. But the face of the stalker was not a stranger, but someone he had trusted and cared for. The realization that Liz had been the one stalking Dave this whole time left him and everyone else in disbelief. The layers of deception had been peeled back, revealing a truth more horrifying than anyone could have imagined. This was not just a tale of unrequited love or jealousy, it was a saga of manipulation, deceit, and cold-blooded murder. 
In December 2016, Liz Golyar was arrested. The unexpected turn of events had finally come to a head. The once unsuspecting player in a twisted love triangle was now the primary suspect in a web of deceit, manipulation, and murder. The allegations against Liz were as shocking as they were horrifying. Investigators alleged that she had not only impersonated Carrie Farver, her romantic rival, but also orchestrated a campaign of harassment against herself and Dave Krupa, the man at the center of their ill-fated love triangle. The evidence stacked against Liz was damning. Investigators claimed she had stooped to unimaginable depths, going as far as burning her own house down in a desperate attempt to frame Krupa's ex-partner Amy Flora. It was a chilling testament to the lengths Liz was willing to go to maintain her deception and keep Dave within her grasp. Dave's reaction to the news was one of utter disbelief. His world, already shaken by the disappearance of Kari and the relentless harassment he had endured, was shattered. The woman he had casually dated, the woman he thought he knew, was accused of staging an elaborate ruse that spanned years and claimed the life of another. My brain was spinning, Krupa said, recounting his initial reaction. He was left to grapple with the harsh truth, the pieces of the puzzle falling into a grim picture he struggled to comprehend. The aftermath of Liz's arrest and the revelations that followed sent shockwaves through the community. It was a stark reminder of the dangers lurking in the shadows of the digital dating world. A world that Dave Krupa had innocently stepped into, unaware of the storm that was about to unfold. This tale of love, obsession, and deceit serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers that can lurk behind the most unsuspecting profiles. It's a sobering wake-up call, a cautionary tale for the digital age, reminding us all to tread carefully in the uncharted waters of online connections. The story of Dave Krupa, Liz Golyar, and Carrie Farver is a startling illustration of how a simple love triangle can turn fatal. This twisted tale began with an innocent foray into the world of online dating, a realm where love is often sought and sometimes found. But in this case, it was the stage for a chilling narrative of deception, obsession, and murder. Mechanic Dave Krupa, single father and newcomer to Omaha, Nebraska, could never have anticipated the nightmare that would unfold when he connected with Liz Golyar and Carrie Farver on the dating site, Plenty of Fish. The story takes a sinister turn with the sudden disappearance of Farver, followed by a relentless stream of threatening messages. The harassment escalated to extreme levels, leading to arson and the tragic death of Golyar's pets. At first, the villain seemed elusive, hiding behind a multitude of contacts and aliases. But as the plot thickened, the true perpetrator emerged from the shadows. The shocking revelation that Golyar had been impersonating Farver all along, going to unimaginable lengths to frame Krupa's ex-partner and mother of his children, Amy Flora, is a chilling testament to the depths of human deception and the destructive power of obsession. This tragic narrative is not simply a chilling tale of a love triangle gone horribly wrong. It also serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers lurking in the realm of online dating. It underscores the need for vigilance and caution, even as we navigate the virtual corridors of romance. The story of Krupa, Golyar, and Farver is a chilling exploration of the lengths to which obsession can drive a person. It is a stark reminder that even in the seemingly innocuous world of online dating, peril can lurk in the shadows, and love can take a deadly turn. In the end, it leaves us with one haunting question. What happens when love turns into obsession?